Hey guys. Well, I'm slowly putting it all together and stuff, and uh, th this rubber is a monster. But I'm slowly getting them in there. Um, i got to get the bus out of here in a few days where I can get the doors in here to paint them. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. Check this out. You know, I know all these be wet sanding and everything, but I feel pretty good about that patch. You know, I don't know if y'all remember that. Um, I'll insert a picture right here of what I did there. All right, it's out. Now I'll be able to get the doors in there and get it all uh, painted up the rest of the doors and then we'll hit all the damage plots on the uh, paint. But yeah, you're looking pretty good. All right, guys, I just went for a drive. Um, if you haven't driven a bus without the doors on it, man, it's like you're in a Jeep. <laughs> it's kind of cool though, but it felt really good to get it out and uh, get it on the road. Now I gotta get the doors in there and get them painted. Holy cow. Garage looks kind of like a murder scene, man. <laughs> you gotta get the plastic back up and uh, get some tables in here and get all the doors on there where I can get after it. All right, guys. Oh, I'm whooped. These doors are heavy. Uh, all this stuff is inside now. Now I just gotta go through and uh, dial it in, get that stuff painted. We'll see if there's a way I can hang them from the ceiling, but I'm more likely going to have to flip them upside down, paint the inside, let it sit for a few days, flip it over, paint the outside. But that's okay too, as long as I'm making steps forward. All right, so this is the current setup. Um, I've got the doors um, in here, the bus is outside. Uh, got my little prep table stuff all set up here, my mud and primer, just hit sandpaper. Um, I've only got one of these stands. I wish I had two. I may try to go find another one, um, but I've got... The back hatch on here, starting to go around doing the spot petty stuff on it, sanding and priming, sanding and priming, um, and then I'll take it to a 600, and then I need to do this one. I've got Osfo all over it. I just want to make sure it's really saturated. The, this, the inside of this thing has never been painted when the bus was painted previously, so I covered up all the, the tech um, stuff there, the de technical data on the, on the fuel injection system, and um, I've got it soaking in Osfo. I'll draw it down. I'll have to scuff the whole thing, and then, uh, then we can get it in primer also. Uh, when I get all done, kind of, it's kind of hard to see, but I've put eye bolts up with steel rods from the um, ceiling of my garage in two different sections. Uh, that way I can hang the panels up in here and be able to help spray two panels at a time uh, and do them both sides. So I figured first time around, I'm probably gonna do this and that at the same time and then down on my little table right here i'll probably lay those things out the little deals that go on the side of the bus out sand them out and prep them up um, and do them at the same time and then that will just leave the big door and these two doors so that's the kind of current plan guys um, ready for round two getting closer and closer smaller patches towards the middle that's where the low is and it's getting even on the outside all right guys now I'm going on to the third round it's working its way in it's getting flatter and flatter and flatter just got this one little low spot all right guys there we go she's all done time to get some primer on it what a pain all right I'm not a professional body man I did the best I could but this literally took me all day long to get this one panel ready um, to paint. But I'm okay with it because I feel like I did the best I can do for it. It was pretty pretty out of whack. So, yeah, man. Um, so this bad boy is going to get some paint on it here real soon. Now i got to move on to the next panel, which is the um, this back one, which needs a lot of work on it. And it's never been repainted on the inside from original paint. But that's all she wrote. All right, guys, it's kind of where I'm at. I'm um, waiting on some spot putty on this. I went ahead and got these guys and a couple thick coats of primer so I can start sanding it back and looking for imperfections. Also, I had to weld these um, the tabs back on. They had broken off of there um, when I disassembled the bus. They were really rusty. So they are welded back on and in place. I'm going to let this side um, completely dry. I'm going to flip it and paint the black of it like satin black or something just where it has some type of corrosion protection on it and then by the time that's done i should be able to get on this finish the spot welds 
get the um, the whole thing in primer and um, get it hung up up here. I think I'm going to paint these laying on this stand, but I think I'm going to put something underneath them to give them a little bit of height. And then uh, I'm going to knock these out, man. I, uh, I've got to get this done. The bus has been sitting outside now for a week. Um, it's rained. It's covered, but it's not like the greatest cover. It's just like a, a cheap um, cover off of eBay, but um, doesn't have any windows in it and stuff. So I really need to get it buttoned up and get all the rubbers on it and get it where it's watertight. Then I got to get on these three and then um, I'll be done. All right, guys, the stuff's all painted up. The, I just gotta wait for it to, uh, to completely dry. And then these on the inside, I'm gonna hit with some type of shaky can paint. Uh, that way they get some type of corrosion protection. I definitely don't wanna leave them just in primer. And then this one, I'm going to um, sand it first to 400, then to 600, and then I'm gonna hang it. It's just a lot of hurry up and um, wait. You, you just get it done. Um, you know, for me, I sneak out here, you know, for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and then I go back in, take care of, you know, life and family stuff. And then um, I'll come back out here in a little while and do some sanding. I'm hoping tonight um, I've got some activities i got to go do, but probably should be home around 830. That'll probably give me time to get it sanded and get it hung. And then uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get some red paint on it. Well, here we are again. Uh, I've got these doors prepped and ready. Filter's going, I'm gonna need to change the filter. Uh, yeah, these guys are ready to rock and roll. I went ahead and painted the black set back side of them, like a gloss black over that primer that I put on there, just where it had something to protect it. And uh, get these knocked out, and then I gotta do those three, and we'll be done. All right, guys. That's as good as it gets uh, for these doors. That's all she's gonna, all she wrote. We'll let them dry for the next few days, and then uh, we'll get them off here onto the bus. I ran out of paint on these, so I'm gonna leave these for the next run around. So when I do the front and back door, when I do the front and the back door, um, I'll just include those little red strip things and do it again. But it's pretty, pretty shiny. I ain't mad. Okay, I'm onto this door. I know it's pretty wavy. I just put a guide coat down on the thing. I'm gonna let it dry. Then I'll drag a block across it a few times and just kind of see uh, where we where we stand on it. The one I'm using is the um, the long dirt block. Um, so, and you know, I just got 180 on it where I can just lightly drag it where it can really be obvious. So we'll see how this goes. Sorry for the blower going on here. It's uh, trying to pull some of these fumes out of here. Um, that's the bottom half of that door. It's not easy to uh, mix up that much mud at once. I had to do it in four different intervals. Now I gotta let it all dry, and then we'll take a DA to it and then block it. Yahoo. All right, guys, at this point, I've just kind of gone through, I've been block sanding it, the dark spots, you know, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a little skim coat on them and then block them back. There's a few little places, but you try to hit as many places as you can. And then once that's done, then I'll um, go ahead and put the whole thing in primer again, where I can kind of see where the dust lies. All right, one more round. Get those low spots, let it cure up, and get the block on it and see how it all turns out. Feeling pretty good about it. I mean, if you do remember, I did cut the whole bottom of this door off here and weld another one on, and then I had to bend the bend into it because it was straight, which was not really cool for a panel manufacturer to send that, but I didn't recognize it until after it all put on, so I had to go down there and beat it all with a hammer and then flatten it all with a dolly. So it's been a task, but uh, nothing. I, uh, a little uh, a little Miller Lite won't solve. You drink one of these, it makes everything go away, and you just keep moving. Yeah, I haven't actually been going to college all this time, and I was like, all right guys sanded to 600 i just need to check the little beady niches and stuff and then they'll be ready to hang this bad boy up put some paint on it but i'm super super excited i mean i did cut this in half and weld a new bottom on it and stuff so 
it's it's pretty pretty dope dude been working on it for six hours on one door but i like it all right guys it's kind of hard to tell with the primer drying on and stuff but that door i've been working on it for a long time revisiting it over and over it's right i'm just gonna let this all dry spray it again and then um then do some sanding down to 600 and it'll be ready to paint. Well, I got the other side of the door all finished up and flipped it over and um, I found, um, found a problem. When I cut the bottom off this thing, I actually welded it all and then just hit it with uh, some, seam, some stuff I used for seam sealer that wasn't seam sealer. So when I get this thing flipped over, I realized that all that stuff had started cracking up and I could see rust underneath it. And um, so what I used was being cheap. I used liquid nail. I saw other people in forums talking about using it as seam sealer. They didn't have bad problems with it. You know, but it, I learned my lessons. Um, so I ended up spending the afternoon chipping all of it off of the bottom of this door. And then I'm going to, um, I guess, go, you know, spend the 40 bucks for a tube of actual real seam sealer and go back and reseal the whole bottom edge again my bad try to cut corners um, when you're doing these projects and unfortunately that time it bit me but rather i'd rather find it now than after i've got the thing painted and then start seeing you know rust dripping out of the bottom of the door i spent a lot of time on the bottom of this door to try to get it where i could use it and um so it is what it is you just gotta keep on grinding along on it and so uh, right now I've got it all soaking in Osfo and um, it's neutralizing it. I'm starting to see all the rusted areas have turned black on it. And so um, tomorrow I'll go down and get some seam sealer and um, start deep cleaning this whole thing here and uh, get it prepped and ready for paint. All right, I just sanded it all, all the edges and stuff that are gonna be painted red and cut where that they would take the primer and I just put a nice thick coat of primer on it all the way around. I'm not spending a lot of time on the insides of these doors. Um, I am gonna go back and still put the seam sealer on there tomorrow, but um, I just need to get something to do it here. Um, I know that if I put a little bit of bite on that, um, that original paint, that it'll hold that red a little bit better. At least that's the plan, I hope so. I, I cleaned it, degreased it, did all the things that you need to do to, to make it, you know, to give myself the best shot of getting it done. But yeah, it's it's pretty close to being done, dude. I just need to put the um, once I put the um, seam sealer across that bottom edge there, uh, I'll probably let it completely cure, hit it with some primer, hang this door up, and get it painted. All right, I got my door hung. I ended up having to go get some rebar and bending it and putting it over my bar hanging up there where I could hang it. Now I'm onto this um, dry, uh, passenger door. I can't um, go down and spend the money to put all new trim and everything around this thing. Um, I wish I could, maybe in the future I will, but I'm gonna have to clean up all of this around here, around the edges of this thing. It's even got some paint on it and stuff. So I'm taking steel wool and I'm just gonna work this whole trim all the way around. I can't do much about this part that's all bent in, but I can at least clean it up a little bit. So that's kind of where I am on things. All right, guys, I've got it uh, sprayed with some um, filler primer. Uh, I've got everything taped up on it, door handle off of it. So now I'm just going to let it actually uh, cure. And I'll come back and start sanding it and looking for imperfections. But I think I got most of them out when I was doing the first body work. And make sure when you're doing any of this stuff that you always got one of these on, dude. You have to have it. It's just... You'll destroy your lungs if you don't. All right, guys. I put it all in one one coat of primer that always helps me kind of see where I'm at. Most of it feels pretty good. Um, the way I kind of judge this is like, I know there's a certain amount of curve to the car, but let's kind of look at the consistency of that curve. And one thing I'm noticing, like right there, it's no light coming underneath. Everything looks cool. As I get closer, um, starting to get a little low there. 
And uh, honestly, that should be a high spot with the, you know, the door being kind of round. So that lets me know that this little section where my hand is, uh, it needs some attention. And gets back here, it's flat. No issues. And it comes, scoots towards me. So I've seen that space. Doesn't need a ton, but it does need something. Otherwise, I'm concerned when the panel's completely, uh, you know, when it's where the whole thing can be seen painted in something glossy, that uh, I'm going to have a pretty, pretty big dip. So I'm not going to go crazy with this, but I do think that this little section right here, I'm going to build up just a little bit and see if we can uh, we can get it uh, better than that. You can kind of, kind of hard to see there, but there's definitely a, uh, there's a space there behind it. You can kind of see where my finger goes back and forth. Uh, there we go. So that's a, uh, that's not cool for me. So let's get busy. All right, guys. <clears throat> These are the places that I found that had a, either some imperfection or like this section here where it's a low spot. <clears throat> Tried to map it out the best I could where I wouldn't have to make more work for myself than I needed. And so I'm just gonna let this cure up and then we'll start blocking it back. All right, the bottom, I nailed it. It, it just blended right in. It's nice and straight, no problems. This one, I'm having to do a second coat. It's still a little low in the middle, um, but it was way better than it was. But um, it's 11.30 at night, so I, um, I think I'm going to call it for the night. But we'll be back at it tomorrow and see if we can get this knocked out. My big plan tomorrow is try to finish this door up and get it hung. I'm trying to figure out a way to hang both driver and passenger door up here. That way I can mix up one more pot of paint, you know, and, um, and be done with it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but we're going to see. All right, guys, I'm on the second door. Just put a thick coat of um, filler primer on it. Gonna let it dry. And then, um, then we'll go on to uh, start to block it back and see what we need to do. This one's almost done. But I do have this space right here. Yeah, I still feel like it's a little low. So I put a little guide coat on it. Gonna let it sit for a while. And I'll come back and sand it back and do a little more filler on it. But um, I got all my hooks made out of rebar, so I think I can hang all three of them at once. And um, yeah, I'm looking to put them in paint today, so I'm just going to keep going at it. I was going to be patient, let the stuff dry. But yeah, you got it. All right, guys, this is why you block it. I knew I felt like there was like a dip in it, and sure enough, it showed up. So I'm going to tape off around the edges of it and get some mud on it. Now we wait. I, uh, Put a really thin coat on there and let that completely dry and we'll block it back and see if that um, low spot goes away i just said the doors I, I just people are touching them you know the doors are something that you interact with a lot and i think that people be laying hands on them a lot and i just wanted to look the best i can it's killing me that i can't replace all this chrome around the outside of these windows right now but that'll come in time uh, but for right now the door itself all that stuff we'll try to make it as nice as i can and then this stuff later, I'll end up popping it out and then changing it all. And I might even have to touch up the paint around it, but that's okay too. But yeah, I'm getting close, guys. Uh, I'm getting the doors all ready to rock and roll. And got the hangers. I think I'm going to be able to paint them all at one time. Um, so it's going to be a good day. Guys, I'm back out here again, again today. I'm about a week into these doors, but I'm getting close. Check this out. This one, I'm just, um, I've taken, I've sanded it to 600, but I found a couple little spots on the um, leading edge here. So I'm gonna let that cure and then we'll do it. And then I'll have to flip this door. I haven't done the other side. I'm not doing a lot of prep to the other sides of the doors. One of the things I am doing is taking a wire brush 
and hitting up where the old seal was where there's no silicone on here and then i'm following up with sandpaper probably hit it with some acetone or something too um the, this door wasn't horribly bad well i mean it was bad as far as the bottom being rotted out of it i fixed all that but this lip i made by hand and so what i'm doing right now is uh i'm just uh, got the putty on there and i'm gonna block it back as soon as it cures and at that point uh, there's not going to be a whole lot more done to these doors on the inside i'm not really that concerned most of it's covered with the door panel and i know in time i'm probably going to have to repaint around the upper edge here as i can afford to buy the actual uh, fresh chrome and wing windows and rubber to put up here so i've got it cleaned up the best i can but i'm not going to make it a you know a priority to sit here and work it all afternoon that one's just been hanging and waiting uh, i'm just waiting to um waiting for this one to cure once it cures, I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to get it get it flat, and then I'll probably spray the whole thing one more time, let it sit for a couple hours where that I can block it back to 600, and then um, finish up this edge, flip that door, do the same thing to it, and then we'll get them hung. I did do something kind of cool. Um, I was reached out. I was looking on Facebook. I'm always looking for uh, Volkswagen buses, like I mean most of us probably are, and. Uh, one of the things with my bus is I don't really, I didn't have an interior. When I bought it, it had like a regular micro bus seat in it, but then it also had half of a Westphalia kit in it um, out of our early Westphalia, probably 71, 72. And so I had the closet, the little headache rack that goes on the top and the fold out Z bed, but I did not have the table, the jump seat or the refrigerator. Um, I had a guy popped up on, um, on the internet in Arkansas that had a closet and I was looking at it and in the background of the picture, I could see the refrigerator, the table and the jump seat. So I reached out to him and said, hey man, um, are you gonna be selling this also? And he said, yeah. And he hit me with the price. I said, man, you know, I've been looking for four years. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it, I'll take it. And so it was a long drive from where I live, a little over four hours one way to get there, pick it up um, and load it in the truck. And man, we're talking way up in Arkansas, tall Arkansas, I believe is what it was called. Um, but I got in the truck, made it about halfway, started raining, pulled over, tarped the whole load, and then uh, made it onto the house. And uh, today I unloaded it out of the truck and kind of sat it in the back of the bus just to see what it's gonna look like, and it's gonna be killer. So kind of an extra uh, incentive to get this knocked out and get it together where that I can get on those cabinets and get them all dialed in and installed in the bus. So I'll have a 10 top Westphalia. I think I'm gonna be able to pull this off as far as getting everything in here in one way. I'm thinking that I may flip this one around where all the, the nice finishes are on one side where I could just kind of have a nice sweeping deal on it. This one, I just flipped over. I've done the other side. Now I just need to clean up all these edges here and then we'll sand it out to 600 and um, get it hung. I got two more hooks right here. And then I've got to still, i to clean these off, they get dusty, but the uh, I didn't like the way the paint took to these. So I'm gonna do, do a little light sand on them and shoot them one more time. That way I know that they're good. But yeah, getting excited, getting closer. Hi right, guys, at this point right now, I'm on the last door. I just spent quite a bit of time on this side. Um, the seal was siliconed against the door, so all that has to come off there. I'm fixed to put it in a coat of primer, um, let it cure overnight, then I'll wet sand it 400, then 600 tomorrow. And then uh, we'll get this bad boy hung up and ready to paint. All right, guys, I've kind of, I did uh, sprayed the whole thing down, let it dry, sanded it uh, to 400. And then now I've gone back and hit all the little spots that I uh, need some attention on them. Uh, not too many. This stuff will dry. I'm going to let it go overnight. I'll come back and just lightly sand it with 400, shoot the whole thing again with primer. Let it cure for a few hours and then sand it again with 400, then 600, and then um, we'll get it hung up here and get it ready to paint.
All right, guys, uh, just finished sanding that stuff back. Put a big thick coat um, of um, build, uh, the high build, well, it's not high build, it's filler primer on there. So we'll let this dry for probably an hour or two. Then we'll come back and um, sand this thing to 600 and um, get ready to hang it. Yeah. There's always something and found three little more places that I want to address before I hang this thing, get ready to paint. So we wait about half an hour. I'll come back, sand that off, put a little primer on it, sand it again. We'll be good. All right, guys, it's about to go down. Got all the doors hung. I uh, swept the floor out real good, blew off the walls, the ceiling. That filter right there, it was brand new about 10 minutes ago. That's how much it sucked out of the air in here. So I'm really happy with that. Now. I'll probably get, well, I know I will, and we'll get uh, buckets of water and dump all over the floor in here. And then I um, still haven't figured out where to sit these, where they'd be convenient to spray. But yeah, it's about to go down. All right, guys, I've got my filter running in here. Um, I just wiped it all down with the Dupla Color. Um, it's gonna be the grease and wax remover. And basically, you wipe all the panels all the way down on both sides, everything that you're going to paint. And then um, I was watching a channel called Paint Society on, uh, on YouTube, and they indicated that it's real important to, once you wipe those down, to let them off-gas a little bit before you get ready to paint. So I'm going to give it a couple minutes, get suited up, and then I've got tack cloths. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mix my paint, get it all ready to rock and roll. And then I'm going to tack the whole thing, um, and then we're going to shoot it. All right, floor is all wetted down. Um, so now I just need to get uh, mix some paint, get masked up, and we'll be good to go. One of the things that's super important when you're doing this stuff at home is um, always use a good mask. I use 3M. I'm fixing to put some fresh filters on a new mask. Um, man, your lungs are worth it. Whew, still really foggy in here. Uh, it's really foggy in here. I probably shouldn't be in here without my mask on, but I just kind of wanted to show you what was going on. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. Guys, the kind of the the mist has kind of gone away and stuff. Um, they turned out pretty good. I tried to follow up while I was painting this time with a um, with a um, a flashlight because the lighting is bad in here. And tried to you know look the panel over, uh, but I think I uh, I made it through them all. Got the little side things done too, so pretty stoked. Uh, I really want a beer, but I'm not gonna have a beer. I've been a really good boy, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just gonna sit in here and inhale the paint. It'll be better for me. Holy cow! Still a gigantic mess in here, but it feels so good to have all of that freaking plastic out of here. Um, where where my I can actually. <laughs> You can see my garage. I got a long ways to go. I'm done with um, sanding and stuff for a little while. And so I'm gonna probably, it's gonna take a week or so to get the garage just totally freaking deep cleaned. But yeah, man, it's, I mean, everything is just like, the whole my whole world is covered in dirt. So anyway, doors look pretty good. The only weird thing I had, was I had one or three little spots that had uh, what they call bird's eyes that popped up. But um, I touched them up with a, a little paintbrush and hopefully it won't be noticeable. They're actually in a location that's going to be underneath the logo on the side of the bus. So I'm not too worried about it. I mean, this thing's never, is not a show bus. It's just going to be something I'm going to cruise around East Texas and uh, make videos about um, real estate and what it's like to live here. So pretty stoked about that. All right, I uh, cleaned the lens on my camera. <laughs> Holy cow, it had a lot of red paint on it. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. Um, my tape off job turned out okay. I ran the window openings. You know, I'd love to have been able to change all that stuff and maybe I will in the future, but wasn't in the budget at this point. But yeah, it's not horrible bad. I'm really kind of happy with this repair I did down here. I know it was a pretty drastic repair as far as cutting the whole bottom of the door off and then putting it on and it actually being flat. And so I had to bend it and make that curve to make it match the body, which it did. There's still, I can see dents. It's so funny. 
you think um you think you've done a good job uh you know getting all the dance and blocking it and all that stuff big props to body men you guys rock i don't know how you do it but i gave it all i had to give and i can't wait to get these um bolted on the bus man get the windows in well tonight i'm still um waiting kind of i guess you'd say waiting i'm getting all of the uh letting the paint cure before we start handling these doors to hang them on the car and today was thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving guys uh 2023 um i can show you what i'm up to so yeah i'm um basically just going through and taking all the original pieces polish them with mothers and clean them up deep deep cleaning them um, all of this stuff I had to get a lot of blue tape off get my seat belts in order I got all my window rubbers all laid out and I'm going to slowly go through this uh, box, get all the pieces clean and stuff and ready to go back on the bus. Um, I ordered some new ones of these today. They're supposed to be here in a couple days to go behind the, um, the door handles on the doors because these were just trashed. And so um, I've got a, I'm probably the next couple days, going to get out and deep clean all these, service them, you know, put some lubrication on them, get them ready to rock and roll and go back on the bus. But as of right now, just um just waiting it's it's very frustrating but you don't want to start handling this stuff when the paint's soft i always try to give it a few days uh, that way that i know that um, i'm not going to screw it up uh, just by you know getting in a hurry but yeah it's coming along I'd say that's much better, wouldn't you, Bill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One more to go on this side. Well, Barry, we got one of the windows wrong. Unless I just want to be able to open and close it from the outside of the bus. But we'll have to flip that some afternoon. <laughs> Thanks again, man. Looks good with the windows in. I got them cleaned up a little bit. Now... Yep. I got to get the other piece from my door. Uh, put, oh, the thing on the slide door is not working properly, so I ordered a new one. We got the glass in today. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. I mean, I wish it was perfect, but it's perfect for me.